Hey, this is Captain Chris Myers of OrlandoFlyCasting.com and probably the number one casting mistake I see time after time with not only my anglers but the people who come to me for fly casting lessons is the direction that the rod tip is traveling at the end of the backstroke. Now we all know if we follow the five rules of fly casting, one of the most important rules is that for tight candy cane shaped loops the rod tip must travel in a straight line. It does not matter whether that straight line goes high to low, whether it goes completely sideways, whether it goes low to high, but as that tip travels back and forth, it must travel a straight line in order to maintain those loops. The more and more and more I deviate from that straight line, the bigger and larger and more open those loops get. And the common mistake I see is people bring the rod up, 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 they break their wrist at the end and the rod tip stops going down. The rod tip stops going down, the line goes down with it. Now my only straight line path from down here is up there. But very few people are casting way up here in the sky. They want to get it down to the fish. So on the following stroke, the rod tip comes up around in a circle and opens up the loop. So to show you what that looks like, here is an example of a loop that goes up in the back, the rod tip stops going up, it goes out and slightly down in the front, follow through. Loop goes up, out, up, out. As that rod tip was stopping traveling up, it stopped traveling up. There was no downward motion to it. Now I'm going to add in a little down onto the back of that stroke. So here it is proper. And now you can see how the rod tip stopped going down. Now there's a lot of variations of this. Some people stop it going down, reset it back up. Some stop it down and leave it down. But as long as that rod tip is going down in the back and down in the front, there's no way I can get a, any kind of loop going. This is what I have, I'm just kind of waving line back and forth. The slightest little breeze will cause that to fall apart and most of the time even without a breeze it doesn't lay out straight like you would like it. Now I could go down in the back, up in the front, and I can get some nice loops going that way, but this is good for throwing super long distances. It isn't good for me casting to uh, an accurate spot 40 to 50 feet in front of me. So if, if you notice that your loop isn't formed like you like it, take a good look at your back cast, and very few people are even looking at their back cast. Turn your head, put your casting foot back, turn your head, look at your back cast. Is my line going up? Am I taking this paint off my rod tip and flinging it up into the sky? Or am I taking my paint and flinging it down into the ground somewhere out behind me? If your line is going down in the back, there's only two ways it got there. Either you made a good cast and you just stopped and let it sink down from gravity, or you told it to go down there by breaking your wrist. If I check this angle right here, if I started like this and I end up like that, that's exactly how it's getting there for me bending my wrist. So if your line's going down in the back, you're having problems hit the water, next thing you know you'll be fly casting up here so that you're not hitting the water. It's still a bad cast, it's just higher up in the air. Take a really good look at your back cast, make sure it's stopping going up and not down towards the water. Once you stop that back cast up, your forward cast out and towards the target, your cast will improve dramatically.